Aloha, this is Chelsea Lyons Kent coming from Standing Rock, North Dakota. It has been a little while since I have been able to get on here and do this because of the just horrible connectivity that we are experiencing at camp and have been experiencing at camp. But since the last time that I talked to you guys, a lot has changed in the the way that we're living, the landscape that we have at camp, the demeanor that we have at camp, and yeah, there she is. Good evening. How are you? Um, so it is, we are coming into the winter. Winter is coming. We've been talking about winter for a long time. We've been kind of discussing the way that things would change as winter came, and here it is. We're still here, and we had a huge influx over the Thanksgiving weekend, the regular, you know, not just the weekend warriors who come in and double things, but like a tripling. The Thanksgiving weekend was absolutely amazing. You couldn't even walk through the amount of cars that were there, the amount of people were there. So that was a really beautiful moment for all of us, even though it was cold. And it was just after that, you know, horrible Sunday that we had just had that was so dramatic for everybody. So we're coming off of Thanksgiving weekend, and I thought that after that we would see a definite decrease in the amount of people at camp, but today it's just as full as it was a few days ago. We had a little bit of a downturn, but it is full again. We have the veterans coming back in, so winter is in no way def like deterred what we're doing here. While it is very cold, and we have been snowed in at points, we've had um, I wouldn't say blizzard conditions, but we've had some really cold conditions and some high winds, and it has been slightly trying. There was a part of me that thought that, you know, here we are, it's winter, and um, we've finally gotten the snow. We've finally gotten this foot of snow that everybody was afraid of, and the winds are here. And now, of course, everybody's going to go home, and that's definitely not what happened. Everybody has not gone home. There's a lot more of staying inside. It's a lot less... Um, action-packed than before, but it's no less committed and no less full of people. So, you know, winter has not deterred us. Eviction notice has not deterred us and will not deter us. So we are still here. We're hanging in there. Some of us are hiding inside during the more rougher moments, but it's definitely nobody's, nobody's going to be scared away by this. So we are... I guess one day out from a huge influx of veterans who are coming. We've already had some coming already, and they have built some barracks. They've come in. They've built a lot of infrastructure. They have um, come in to help and been greeted very warmly. So, um, Jesse wants to know if there's a lot of people there who are not following the prayerful and peaceful requests. You know, he says he's hearing reports that there are, are some that are more disturbing. I have not really seen that to be ca the case. Of course, like, while we've been here, there have always been a slight few who have been more disruptive, who have had different ideals. And there's definitely the few who want to come down and they want to play hero and they want to, they want to be the guy who comes in and they want to save everything. And that's not really the way that we have been doing things here now, but for the most part, I would say 99.9% .9 of the people who have come here have come here with the ideals that we embody in this camp, and they have not come here with ulterior motives. And you can really tell the difference between who is. And also, I mean, there's a lot of things that are painted as aggressions and agitations that are not necessarily so. So that's also a big part of how the media spins things. And another part of that is, while we are all peaceful and prayerful, you don't know how you're going to act in the moment that someone is shooting you with rubber bullets or tear gassing your family members. You know, that's something that you cannot necessarily say that, like, in that moment, I'm going to be awesome and I'm going to sing a song. There are times when those kind of things happen and you revert to a place that is different than what you would have expected from yourself. So nobody really knows what they're going to do in those moments until they're there. So as far as I'm concerned, the people who are here now are peaceful and prayerful, and those who are not typically do not stay for very long. So, you know, it's not something that we're typically worried about at this point. 
I did hear that there are 11,000 vets. I have heard anywhere from 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 to now today 11,000. I would say that at camp right now there is not 11,000 people. There is maybe maybe five or 6,000, but I don't know how that will change in the next couple of days. It's kind of impossible to tell. And from where we are now, it's really hard to tell um, what's going to happen and what's not going to happen because the information that you get at camp is not the same as the information that people are getting on the Internet. So that is something that we are just going to have to figure out when it actually does happen. But they are coming, and we're pretty excited about it. I think it's going to be a huge shift in the way that things are working at camp. I think that they are here to be prayerful and to protect the people who are here and not to be agitating. I don't think that, that is their actual purpose. So we are excited about what they are going to come and do for the people here at this camp. And tomorrow we will know a whole lot more about what is going to happen at that time. So we're just going to do a little short thing tonight. I just kind of wanted to check in with you guys and let you know that I am okay. I know I haven't talked to anyone in a little while. I've had some phone problems and connectivity problems, but... Tomorrow morning at a probably around 10 in Central Time, I'm going to be doing a longer version of this. If you guys want to submit questions or ask questions at the time, that, yes, I am healthy. I'm, I'm showered today, you know, showered today, which is not a regular thing. It's not something I have gotten used to at this point, but it's... Um, I am here, I'm in Bismarck for the night, I haven't been to Bismarck in a long time, so I have a level of connectivity I didn't have recently, so we're going to do a longer thing in the morning, and tonight I just wanted to check in and let everyone know that everything's good, everyone is safe, everyone at camp is in very high spirits, we are rallying together for the winter, we are working together to make sure that everyone is safe, the kids are going sledding, so... Still a beautiful place to be and a beautiful place for all of you to come. And we are going to have a lot more coming tomorrow. So if you guys could issue some questions into the comment section of this live stream, then I will check them in the morning so that I can answer those better tomorrow. As far as future plans go, as we all know, this is something that has changed the whole time I've been here is every moment that you think that you know what's going to happen in Standing Rock, nobody knows what's going to happen in Standing Rock. It changes week to week and day to day. So what I might think is going to happen in the next week or month may not actually be the case. So um, thank you guys very much for watching and we are okay for tonight but if you guys want to get together some information that you would like to hear of tomorrow um, then I'll be happy to answer all of that in the morning thank you guys all for everything you've done while I've been here and I will let you know as much as you want in the morning I will t absolutely tell you if more police are coming from the federal government I did hear that I did see the the Red Lynch live stream which was just another bullshit repeating of all of the this person says this and this person says that and we're gonna send more people to make sure that the police are okay but we also want to make sure that the voices of the protesters are heard and blah 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 this is just another instance of Obama and the Democratic administration saying absolutely nothing and postponing to the point where this is going to be finished before they actually take a stance on what's happening so we will see what happens. I don't think that the federal government is going to deploy 11,000 officers. So, you know, we'll see what happens here. And as far as supplies go, just keep thinking about warmth. Send firewood. Propane is very helpful. Propane has been harder to come by. So, you know, anything else that you guys would absolutely like to know about, please leave in the comments. I will check it before I go live tomorrow. And check in tomorrow at 10 a.m. Central Time. Love you guys. Thank you.